Ice cream with that time? Yeah. I don't know if you ever use that one. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you had it up there. I could have been making plain ice cream. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you had it up there. I could have been making plain ice cream. Mm -hmm. You can make it in that, in that other thing. Yeah. Ice cream, soup, everything, yeah. Cut them in half. Huh? Cut them in half, though. Just saying hello. A couple of people on us telling them oh, hello. Somebody, somebody going? There's a couple of people on there. Waiting for some more people to come on. Mm -hmm. I was just saying, waiting for some more people to come on. The tomatoes are good. Hello, hello, hello. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying hello.
that dirty bowl over here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I just put it in there. Hmm. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I'm here. I'm sure it's in the bowl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello. She's making a quick salad. That's enough. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut them carrots small. Say hello, Mom. Huh? You say hello. Hello, everybody. I hope you all are doing well today, whoever's on, so. salad today. I have a, even I got some mini ones, so baby mini. Just the old ones I have. She's on um, making a quick salad, everyone. Healthy, healthy meal. Making a spring sausage, a spring salad. How's everyone doing today? And hello to everyone. Mm -hmm. I was just asking how everyone was doing today and saying hello. Okay. I hope everyone's doing fine today and not too hot. So maybe it's cooled off a little bit for you guys today. Hopefully it has a little bit. We cooled off a little bit today. We had just a slight bit of drop of dripping of rain here in the little area. Not all over, but just a small area. So I'm hoping you all were affected by some a little bit of coolness. Jacqueline P, she said hello. Jacqueline P, say hello. She caught the live. Okay, how are you doing today? No good. work. It's good to know that you caught us alive today. Because most time we never catch us alive, so maybe she's off of work today. Okay. okay. All right. Hope you're having a good day, Jack Miss Jacqueline. Hope you're having a good hope you've had a pretty good week out so. She says she's good. Good, I'm glad. Look. These little cherry cherry tomatoes so good. All right. She said, how about y'all? Well, it's been so so. Not totally bad and not totally good. It's sort of in between. But we're still blessed.
That's all I can say. She said, yes, I had a wonderful day. So blessed. Good. Awesome. awesome. She said, okay. yeah, she had a wonderful day. She blessed. I'm sure glad. She just come on and watch. She's making her little quick salad for dinner. Nothing fancy, y'all. Mm -hmm. She said she made potato salad for dinner. That sounds oh, good. That sounds good also. I thought about that, but well, we didn't have anything to go with the potatoes. I've had so much potatoes this week, so we have potatoes almost at every meal. Some kind of way, so sometimes we potatoed out. And then you get to the point where you know, make potatoes and everything. Of course, that's what makes a full meal. Anyway, it's usually some kind of potato, somewhere there. And there's so many thousands of ways that you can do potatoes. So. It really is. So that's one of the things also. We have some chicken, but we're gonna do some lunch meat in our salad. The picture not clear at all. Huh? I said the picture on my phone not clear with this one. She said she also made sardine salad. Oh, she good. wanted tuna but didn't have any. Oh, sardine salad. You ever had sardine, made sardine salad? I just made some for myself. <laughs> but I've never just, you know, really made any for you guys. That should be enough. <coughs> no, because I used to like sardines when I was little. But I don't think I really like them right now. I mean, it's really good when I... Because so I just put in it whatever I can find. Usually when I was doing it for myself. Yeah. I'll to try that one day though. It might be pretty good. If you find a good bottle of sardines, it's hard to find. She a said good it was, can of sardines now. She said it was really good. Okay. I'm going to have to try that, Jacqueline. I used to eat sardines when I was little. But as I got older, I stopped eating. Why well, used to eat the, uh, the hot spicy sardines? Then I don't know. Somewhere along the line, I stopped eating them. Those with the jalapeno peppers, yeah. Yeah, the hot spicy. Uh, uh okay. yeah. Well, one thing about it, they change the flavors. And once the Admiral Company that I used to like Admirals or sardines, and for some reason they finally went out of business, or they wasn't selling them anymore, and I didn't find it. and everything else that I tried after they went out, I couldn't find anything that tastes like the Admiral. I can remember because I ate so many of them during that time. That, but that was the only one that I really did enjoy. She said she never had the, the hot ones before. Okay. Well, mine wasn't hot. They just had the plain. Well, they had the plain hot and the um, tomato sauce and uh, the soy sauce also. They had all three, three or four different flavors. And uh, But like I said... I don't remember. I only one that I really did like was the Admiral brand. But I haven't saw them. I haven't saw them on the market for years. And I mean years, so not here in Texas anyway. They may still make them. But they might not just be they may not have them in Texas. I don't know. Anybody heard of, of the Admiral? She said she got home from work early today. Okay. She's I know she's glad then. She no wonder she having having a good day today. She got off early, so good. She can enjoy something a little bit earlier. That makes it real nice when you can get home early <clears throat> to have a look, see a little daylight there. So I don't know where, uh, how soon it get dark where you are, though. 
She said, yes, indeed. I know it get dark here about nine. Put them a little bigger, Mom. Put them a little bit bigger, please. Okay. Good thing a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Okay. I like the crunch in my mouth. And I'm eating a salad. Thank you, thank you. Let me see a little bit bigger. Jacqueline said she loves chopping vegetables. She love what? Chopping vegetables. Oh, she loves chopping vegetables. Yeah. I, do, I do too. It's kind of relaxing. <laughs> it's relaxing? Really? <laughs> well, you know how many years I was in food service. I had to chop everything. Well, I don't know if it's relaxing or not to me, but I, I, like, I wouldn't mind buying it already cut, already chopped. <laughs> She said, I'm so blessed to have my mom. Yes, I know it. We bump heads sometimes, but yes, I know I'm very blessed to have her. I know so many people don't have their mother. So, you're right. When, you be, when you're blessed to have a mother, you're very blessed. And all those whose mother don't have one anymore, I feel so bad for them. That's if you was close to your mother, too. Let's share it with the world. Tell everybody they can call her Granny, Mama, whatever they want to call her. No, shop them no more, Granny. <laughs> Leave them like that. Right. I yeah. forgot you said. Yeah. <laughs> I like them you small. Like I'm no. still chopping. Okay. No, ma'am. All right, then, so. I got them chopped like you want them, so. She said her has been passed away for 12 years now. Huh? She said her mom been gone for 12 years now. So sorry. Oh, for 12 years. Yeah, she said her mom been gone for 12 years. Okay. Long time. So sorry to hear that. Let me put you the white one in there too. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can share mine, Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. She said her mom was an amazing woman. That's good to know. But you got to remember, she's watching over. She's watching. She's watching over you every single day, every hour. She said her mom cooked everything from scratch. All right, ma'am. That's wonderful. But I used to, but everything got to be halfway in, instant now because that's a, we're living in an instant world. Nobody want to watch all that from scratch. Yeah, watch it a little bit, but they don't want to look at it too much. So I know I can't pull on the videos because just a few people want to watch them for a short period of time. So yeah. I have to cut them down. Yeah. In order for the people to want to enjoy them because they will leave the channel and forget it because they don't have time to sit that long to watch. So I have to really make them short as possible. Because nobody have time to do. Everybody's in a hurry going nowhere and doing too much of anything, I don't think. But, but you know. So. But I think the best food is from scratch, though. That's the very best food. It's flavored and all. Even though food is different now. You used to have to use a lot of seasoning back then. You can use salt and pepper and your stuff with season now. It's like it's hard to get food seasoned. But we don't even use salt. My mom got high blood pressure. And I ended up with it after I had COVID, so. Well, she's watching over you, Jacqueline. She see you and she's guiding you. Yeah. Well, maybe she's doing what her mother. Give me the. Check, get the eggs. You chop the tomatoes in for you. Yeah, you chop them. Okay. Chop, get the eggs. Okay. I love salads. I can eat salad every day, really.
She said she loved your dress. Thank you. I got so many straps on. I don't know if you heard her, Jacqueline. She said, thank you. That's a little bit longer than what she usually wear. Usually her dress is a little bit above her knee. Yeah, I'm peeling. You close that because it kind of got a glare on the camera. Hmm. That curtain kind of got a glare. Thank you. That okay, man? Mm hmm. Okay. I do too. I love live flowers, any kind of flowers, Jacqueline. It don't matter. I just love flowers. The song said, give me my flowers while I live. But you can't see them when you're gone. I love that song. Yeah. I remember years ago when uh, me and used to ask you on a date. They always would come with flowers. Always. They never would come to your house without flowers or roses, something. How much you guess you want to put in there? Huh? How much? Probably about two slices, maybe. About two slices, okay. Yeah. Is it hot where you are, Jacqueline? It's been hot here. We've had uh, how many days of 100 degrees? 20 so far. It would have been 21 today, but the rain broke it down. But tomorrow is going to go back up to 22, probably. Okay, uh, Jacqueline, you have a good evening. She's going to go. Jacqueline's going to go. Oh, she is? Okay. Okay, have a good, have a good rest of the evening. Thank you for uh, joining in, Jacqueline. Yeah. I appreciate it to the highest, darling. I know if you got off early, you want to do some other things. She gone. Okay. For those who just tuning in, she's doing just doing a quick plain sun, a salad. Huh. I'm just telling people you're doing a, a quick salad. That's all. Mom, go over that way, son. Can't see what you're doing. Scoot your chair back over that way. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Don't cut it tiny. Cut them like strips. <laughs> you cut everything a little bitty tiny. Yeah, cut them in strips like that. <laughs> you want to cut everything tiny, tiny. Yeah, then you get something in every bite. Mm -hmm. That's how meat looking salads like strips, yeah. Hopefully chocolate and um D and all them will come on. Grandma and them. All them come on tonight. Maybe so. Yeah. Maybe they're doing something right now. Probably cooking dinner or maybe something else going on. 
cheese cutting turkey for our salad. Probably one more piece. Yeah. I don't eat beef or pork. We got roast beef and ham in there. But I can't eat it. She's probably gonna make some ice cream for her channel tomorrow. Gonna do what tomorrow? Probably make some ice cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I get everything that I have, so they can ice cream stock on what is that? Ice. Everything else you have. I got ice, but I have to have yeah. probably a heavy cream and stuff. I don't know. I don't have enough heavy cream under that. Be man. If you stop eating it, yeah. <laughs> if you stop eating on it, <laughs> I just got a little bite. <laughs> yeah, this should be enough. That's too hot. That's it. Yeah, you gonna cut the eggs? Okay. You should gonna put the other stuff in there so you can use your bowl. Okay. You should put your other stuff in the bowl so you can use it. Don't put that here. Yeah, gonna start layering it. Yeah, put it in here. I got to have the spoon to stick on. I don't. We can spread it. All right, then. Mm -hmm. There's some few people on there you can be talking. Huh? There's some people on there you can be talking. Okay. All right, so I'm trying to get the other. I have one or two little pieces of uh, bell pepper. I think I'm here with it. There's onion in there, so I just not. So I've got the cameras already, so. Okay. Now I'm going to do my eggs. So These are, uh, this is what you call a salad for a hot day that you don't want to do any cooking and it's too, 
It's really too hot to turn it. The burners are on it out, but it's not too bad today. Okay. I'm going to be circulating my eggs around. Give me that spoon right there. Gonna fall for it. I was hoping it would hang pretty good, but I don't know. I guess if you had let them cool down a little bit yeah, while they break so before yeah. I put them. Yeah. They're just a little bit too hot right now. Okay, I'm going to pull those over here. I let them cool before I cut them. I guess I just drop the meat on top now. And, uh, okay. She went on, went on live on the other phone. This one shows a bad picture. This is all um, mesquite, mesquite uh, uh, white turkey, what I'm using today. So. This is very delicious also. And you can probably find it in any of the delis that you, uh, that you, uh, go, that you go to, really. Okay. I'm sure all the delis have, uh, have the mesquite, so. Okay. I'm trying another egg, but I know they are too hot. Here, to... you can cut them in half. Uh -huh. Cut them in half. The tomatoes? Mm -hmm. okay. These are the grape tomatoes. Daybreak76 uh, said, love those fried neck bones you showed how to make. Said that he loved... Oh, those fried neck yeah, bones? Yeah, said he loved the fried neck bones you showed how to make. Okay. He, he, he loved them. Oh, he did, so he's already made some. Uh, he just loved... He just saw this the video. Did you see this the video, or did you make some? I didn't quite understand the question. Yeah, the fried neck bones been good. She used to fry them a long time ago. I don't eat pork anymore. I sure miss some neck bones. Have you tried anything else she made? He said he did make them. They break 76. Now asking. Okay. Oh, it's Maria. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a it's a lady named Maria Walker. Okay. Sorry about that. Yes, it probably. All the fried neck bones and fried ribs are they're delicious, you know. And if you can eat the pork, that's it. So many people can't have pork. But I also fried the uh, beef neck bones, so I, and I think I baked the beef and I think I fried only thing about the beef neck bones, they are so they're so bony. You have to get the, and if you can find the shanks that that's not so bad. But they have all of them have a big bone when it comes to the beef ones now. So you really can't um 
really can't hardly find beef McMahons and stuff like that. You have to almost uh, have to be uh, pork. Because the beef just don't have the bones. Don't have, don't have the meat on the bones the way they're shaped. They got bigger bones on them. So that's what makes the difference in the beef and the pork. So. These are black olives that I'm putting on now. Um, if you want to know what, sometimes somebody might want to know what I'm doing. So this is what these are, the black olives. So, okay. I don't know if everybody likes olives on, it, on your salad or not, but it's delicious on salad as well as your pizza or so, uh, whatever, you know. She, yeah, that's why I figured she, after I seen your name, Maria, I'm sorry. She said she was a female. I'm going to call her Mill. She said, yeah, she made some of your recipes. Okay, all right. Name is, is Maria Walker. Okay, all right. You sorry about that. I'm glad I'm glad you made some and that you enjoyed, hope you've enjoyed them, you know, so. Yeah, she's a good cook. Been okay. cooking for 70 years now. She ate it's been be 82. It's been a long time. Her great grandkids are learning how she's teaching all of them how to cook. And they love cooking. They love eating. Yeah. So I know that I know what they are. They love to eat. Yeah, those are eat little kids, I tell you. They probably eat stuff keep other people kids when eat. She made a fried uh, chicken feet. They tore them up, want some more. Granny, when you gonna cook some more chicken feet? And I really didn't like them myself, but they love them so much until I said, okay, but I learned that I did try them. Although I had cooked them several times years ago for the kids, uh, for my grandparents and stuff, but I didn't eat any. And I was thinking, why do I want some of these things? They didn't look good to me, but I finally tasted them with the grandchildren. <laughs> and they were pretty good. In fact, they were good. I just never did try them. I guess because I, you know, uh, you know, we when I was a little girl, there was we had a little bit of a what you call a little chicken pen area in the backyard, and and I couldn't stand them old dirty chickens, and I sure didn't want no, no chicken feet. So I wouldn't eat them, but I fixed them for them. So, but I found out that they're good. But I realized everything if you cook any kind of meat you cook, you gotta. You got to clean it anyway, so it wasn't so bad after I cleaned it myself. So that was the only problem. Thinking about how dirty chickens were when they walk around out there and they own stuff. So, but we always kept the lime in the yard, so it wasn't too bad. Because the lime supposed to keep uh, all the smell away and all the bad walking away, but still. I didn't really want to walk around in the pen, but there were times that I had to walk out there and, and get the eggs out of the nest. But I always had an old pair of shoes that I put right by the gate where I walked in there. And I put my other shoes on at the edge yeah. of the gate. So that's what I always did all the time. So I didn't have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I constantly did that all the time. So I wouldn't have any problem with it, okay? So that's where I was standing at that particular time was doing all of those things. But sometimes you do a lot of things that you really don't really don't know that you're gonna do it and but you have to do them when there's no one else to do them because at the time I had to go out there to do that. Well, I had my uncle was ill and he didn't worry about going out. Uh, to do it so it wasn't anybody else in there to do it so I had to do it at that time I think I was probably a teenager or something but I sure didn't want to deal with those chickens and things outside but by him being ill it wasn't anybody else to do it so and then they, they wanted fresh eggs out of, the, out of the nest so 
I had to go out there to get the eggs. I had to go out there to get the fresh yes. eggs out anyway. Because if you didn't, uh, sometimes the chickens would get out. And we had one bad rooster would get out there and break up the eggs if we didn't take them out. So we had to get them out. So that they wouldn't wouldn't, uh, wouldn't mess up all the shells on them. So we didn't have a choice really at that particular time. So I, did, I didn't have a choice, I tell you. I had to do those things. And it really wasn't that I wanted to, but I just had to do it at the time. So, but you know, there are so many things in life that we don't know, that we don't really want to do, but sometimes we almost we have to do them. So then you get learn to do them with a smile. So that's where I did. I had to learn to do it with a smile. So I and now I, you know now I kind of appreciate those things that I didn't understand when I was coming up that we would do. And a lot of people wouldn't do the things that I had done, so which was okay, but uh, they didn't have the opportunity to do them because they didn't have to. But I was with a lot of elderly people, and they were not, uh, they were older people, and they were, they were disabled, so most of them were disabled to do things, so I had to, to uh, do everything just about, and I had to. There were a lot of things that I had to learn to do that I didn't know I would have to do. But anyway, I ended up learning to do those things. And uh, because I had to, I didn't have a choice. Some people have a choice about things that you have to do. But at the time, I didn't have a choice on what I have to do. So I just went on and got it anyway because I know I didn't have a choice. Now, this is another cheese that I'm going to be using in here also. So... And these are good. I, everything that I'm using is from the deli, so so these all been cut like you want them, and and you know for one number one, number two, three or four, whatever you, however you want them cut. But all I can say sometimes when you uh, if you, if I bring them in, and some days it's hot, and when you uh, before you get them in the house. They'll kind of uh, kind of mess up in, in the car because sometimes I might make one or two stop before I get home, and then they kind of stick together. So that's the problem that I'm having now because they're sticking together, and I hate that they're sticking together like that. So, but I don't have any other choice because I have to get them here sometime, you know. And like I said, they all broke up or whatever, but I managed to get them here and. But at least that I'm do working on there is kind of they're stuck together. But you know, I'm just gonna do my best to try to try to cut it down a little bit. So I'm not doing a very good job of it. But because they're falling apart before I can before I can get it uh, sliced down. So that's the problem I'm having right now. So they're kind of crumbing up on me. So. But anyway, I'm still going to keep cutting anyway, so. I have to put them in there, but they are very crummy today. This is very crummy. Very, very, very much. So I'm going to have to pull these in the bowl also. But I'm going to cut. I have a little bit few that I'm still going to be working on trying to cut them up. And I hope anybody likes this. Okay. Uh, this is a nice big bowl of salad. And when I finish with it, I'm going to be using Olive Garden IGA and dressing. <clears throat> and then I, of course, the I, I really, mine, I really prefer French dressing. That's what I, that's what I prefer, but I I will I do like the Italian dressing also, but I, when it comes to what I prefer, I really prefer uh, the uh, French dressing. Uh, I like and I like I don't know I don't like the, I like the real deep red, the deep red French dressing. I don't know what everybody else uh, likes the most, but that's what I like the most. And so I'm getting this off so I can. Get these cut out. This is already cut up and yeah. and ready to go. So, when I 
Now I have everything that I have here. So in this bowl, I have um, I've cut up well, I have uh, the mesquite turkey from the deli, and I have uh, carrots, and I also have um, a cut up squash, and I also have uh, uh, grape tomatoes, and I have the organic baby spring mix, the baby fresh spring mix. Uh, a salad mix, okay, organic also. So this is what, I, that's what and also I'm also using a, a cucumber, and I'll have all those things in there. So, and then I have a, a, the red onion also. So I have most everything. All of all this is really good vegetable salad that I'm making. I'm sorry, I dropped my cucumber on. Down here, so I was trying to get it out for you. All right, so I have the cucumber also. So these are the things that I have in this bowl of salad. And um, I hope that if you all make it, it's very good. Very, very good. And, and it's something that maybe uh, that will go along with your dinner. Or just have a bowl of salad with a bowl of soup or something of that sort. Uh, I mean, even with the, I can even say, I'll say this, you can even use it with the bowl of spaghetti or whatever. It's, and I, I mean, I, even though I have meat in it, but you don't have to add the meat to yours if you don't like to. If you don't like to have, put the meat in. Just have it by itself. And have it with some crackers or whatever. And then, I don't know, sometimes people put croutons in them, but I don't really like uh, the croutons in my salad. I like them without, I like it without the croutons. And uh, I hope you all will, uh, you know, will try this. It's a nice big bowl of salad. Like I said, have the cheese and everything in it. So this is, it's very, very good. So I'm just hoping that you all will take a choice and 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 uh, try it with whatever you're gonna have. Maybe for your, uh, I say for your dinner or yeah, this mix it with something else. If you're not gonna have, maybe if you have fried chicken and. And something you really want to have another salad or something to go along with it this is a very good idea to have it to go along with it also so i think you will enjoy it also so just think about it and um, after a while we will be testing it because this is one of the things we're going to have for dinner tonight so we'll, we'll probably have it with uh with rich crackers or if we have some i don't know i don't know if, i don't know what kind of crackers i have here to have with it uh, either you know i have another type of uh no salt crackers just a regular regular cracker i'm not sure what we have on the shelf right now but i will find out in a little while and i'll be giving it you know having it with the, with the dinner so so this is this is uh what we are what i'm doing tonight but anyway i just wanted you guys to see what i'm doing and what i have and what I will be, what we will be serving for dinner, and hope you'll be able to make it yourself, because it's very simple. It's nothing, nothing hard about it. Just having odds and ends. Of course, you know you're gonna have to bar your with your with your bar your eggs and whatever, but uh, it doesn't take long to do that either. So, but I will be putting it with the Italian dressing, with the I. Uh, olive garden dressing so that's what i will be putting with having with this with this bowl so this is gonna be this this is the this will be my uh salad for tonight for today's dinner so and i hope you all will try to enjoy this later and i think you enjoy it a whole lot i was just trying to clean the table up a little bit where you can see it better since I have everything I've accomplished everything in making my salad so only thing just seeing it ready made and uh, having it ready to uh, put in a little small bowl on the plate or whatever and then put the salad on to do a tasting uh, just as soon as my daughter returns I'll get it done uh, she had something to do but anyway I don't know how many is on or whatever but uh, right now I can't see 
But anyway, I appreciate you guys coming on and everything. I really do. And I know <clears throat> everything. I just I want to know too. Um, are, is it very hot wherever you guys are? And are you enjoying the summer heat of vacation? And, you know whatever you're gonna be doing. I know it's close to the weekend, and I know I know I'm sure you have some type of most people have some types of plans for the weekend and things that be going on. I don't know. I I don't really have my my uh, I have my grandchildren will be uh, doing their uh, summer their summer school reward session on Saturday. So that's about it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else planned. And and tomorrow I'm hoping that I'll come on and and uh, if I have everything together, I I really kind of plan on making ice cream in the ice cream maker. But I I made I have this ice cream maker, but I haven't made ice cream yet. This one, and so I'm hoping that I get everything and, and it works out for me, because I did have one uh, that I did try, but I haven't tried it on YouTube, and uh, I haven't tried it on my channel rather. But I did have one, but it was so small. I had bought it, but I took it back because it wasn't even enough to do um, say, but. About, it was just about enough to do five dips, and that was just too small to even start with. It was just like a waste of time because you only get about five dips out, and then you have to uh, store it all over again. It just was just too much work because I didn't realize it when I bought it that it was as small as it was, but it was just way too small. Because I most time, uh, if the children are here, they can eat at least a couple dips a piece, and that means. I'd have to go through the same thing for about five times in order to get just around the four, the four or five kids is here. And then that didn't include the adults, because that means if the adults was going to have it, that means that they had to have at least two dips. To, uh, and that's two large dips, and I couldn't put the small dips out on the kids because they eat too, they will eat too much. And so I had to have a large dip for them as well. So that wouldn't, I mean, that wouldn't have bothered that too much. But anyway, I was glad to uh, be able to, to know that this one that I had, I hadn't really saw it. And I, w I didn't realize it was as large as it is. So I wish I'm glad that it's a little bit larger than the one that I had to send back because the other one wasn't going to do anything. But sometimes, you know, we, have, we make orders and buy things and you don't see them. You might see them on TV or somewhere. But you have to really go in. And like I said, this one has been here for a while. But I didn't know how large it was. And I still haven't tried it. So I'll have to try it to see if it's going to work like I want it to. If it doesn't, well, I can't deal with this one either. So, But I'm hoping it all works out for me. So I will be trying to give it a little try tomorrow to see if it will to work tomorrow or the next day. But I'm hoping I get, uh, get my heavy cream and all the stuff that I need. And the uh, the, the uh, salt that I need uh, for the ice cream, the freeze the freezing salt. So I have to get all that together first and see what I'll have to do. And then I'll figure out what flavor that I might be making because I really haven't decided on that either. So <clears throat> I know everybody likes different flavors, and I know sometimes that the kids are here got some that like strawberry, some that like chocolate and some that like uh oh i don't know whatever something it's another oh strawberry chocolate i know i like vanilla it's my favorite i like lemon also but uh whatever it is that i uh, desire is that what i'll try to have the uh, yeah i try to have enough here in order to maria says she got to eat more salads than she than she do huh Maria said she had to eat more salad than she do. Thank you for the salad. No, she said she had to eat more than what she do. Maria, Maria. Said okay. She, yeah. All right. Yeah, I appreciate. I'm glad that she's watching that. So. No, she said she had to eat more than what she used to. What she usually eat. I can't understand what you're saying. Okay. So. But anyway. All right. I said Maria. Maria said she had to eat more salad than she usually do instead of meat. Eat meat. 
Oh, she has to eat more salad than she yeah. do meat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She has to eat, start eating more salad than she do meat. I think we all, all need to eat more salad than we do meat. Because it's so hot right now. I think salad will be better for it, for all of us. But the salad and the vegetables don't last that long. So that means you have to go to the store regular in order to get the salad mixed. Because it doesn't, it doesn't last long. And I don't have a refrigerator that will last long in. So... That's another problem that I'm going to have is uh, with doing a lot of salads or whatever. Oh, did she hung up? <laughs> I didn't know she hung up. I thought to my insurance company she hung up. She must not knew it. Yeah, maybe so. I got my ear on the phone. Like, when is she going to come back? But anyway, uh, this is the total finish of the salad. So when you, we get ready to uh, have You going to get some? Huh? You going to get some? I think you going to make your plate? Oh, I don't have to. Hmm. I have to have it, looks, it looks delicious. Huh? It looks delicious. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be delicious then. Sure it is delicious. Yeah. Pass me my iced tea right there, so I knew it's not iced. I don't know, because I told him not to use him back. So, hello? I'm also drinking a uh, peach tea. Uh, let me see. I have a iced yeah, tea, H-E-E, like iced tea, a peach iced tea. This sure is good. It's very delicious also. So uh eventually I will I will be uh put I need to put it on some ice though, but I don't I didn't even want to get up and get a cup and put it in. And I've got a big thirsty. Well I was talking so much. So I had to get a little drink of something to uh wet my throat with. I'm hoping every, I'm I'm really hoping that you guys are planning a nice weekend, and I hope it be cool enough where you are able to get out and do some things on the weekend. Maybe uh, just have a little pleasure because everybody's been in so much for the last couple of years, and I'm sure everybody can't wait to have a day out to do whatever they'd like to do somewhere doing something. So I don't know what they would like, whatever you'd like to do, you know. I can understand. Sometimes this stuff gets a little, you have to really shake it up before you can use this. Uh, I noticed that about the olive oil, sure, or seasoning, salad mix and stuff. I noticed you have to shake it up quite a bit, quite a bit in order for it to, for you to get them, uh, for it to come to for the right taste. I noticed that a lot of it was at the bottom, so I'm kind of leaving it upside down for a few minutes. And after I shake it up, I'm going to see if the flavors are going to come all the way through. It looks like it is. But I know I've had to shake it up sometime. Well, this was a new bottle anyway today, so it's never been used until... Well, I did open it up last night, but I still hadn't used it. I just opened it to, uh, uh, to, uh, to put on that uh, coleslaw that I had. For dinner last night, and, and I hope you some of you guys had saw my my sandwiches that I made last night, cause they were totally delicious, and that would be something very good for you all to try uh, yeah. when you have company. Uh, if you want to try it on the grill, it's fine, but if you have a nice guest to try it on also, right. and but I did it with the uh, with the uh, Irish butter. You don't have to do it with Irish. You can do it with with whatever you want to, even with, uh, with I say avocado oil, a season oil, Italian season oil, or whatever. I don't know if you want to do. I don't know if you want to do a, a bread fry with olive oil, but sometimes I guess people do do it with olive oil also. But I had did mine with the Irish butter, with the mayonnaise and the Irish butter on it, so I enjoyed it like that. But I don't know. I can't say for everybody because. 
You know, everybody have a different taste and everything that they do now. Marie, Marie says. I, okay, I, she's trying to tell me she's doing something on the other line. She had an important call that came through, and she's trying to take care of that. So, and I can't see who's talking because the camera's turned around in a different direction, and I can't see. Uh, I can't do anything but just keep talking. That's all I can do right now, since I'm in the kitchen. Well, usually when I'm in the other room, I can kind of see what's going on. I, like I said, he's coming up on the, on the wall where. Right? On TV where I can see it, but I don't have a. I do have a tablet, but I don't have it with me right now, so I can't see what's coming up on the tap on anything right now. So you all just keep talking or whatever, and when she gets off her off her import and call, then she'll be back here to, to read it to me so I can understand what who's calling and who's not who's online and who's not online. So right now I'm just kind of staying on. And just trying to keep talking till she gets off of her import and call. So I just thank you all for just taking a few minutes to uh, let me just talk and uh, whatever. But I have planned on um, I have planned on doing a few things this summer, and I have I'm not for sure of when I'm going to do anything because time is passing so fast, and this is almost the middle of July, and it seemed like. June just started, and we're at the middle of July, going on half the half. Just think about it. Half of July will be gone tomorrow, and kids will be back ready to go to school next month. Some of them here in the state of Texas, and some I know some of state will be going back to after Labor Day, but there will be school starting here another uh, another three or four weeks, I'm sure, in August, the middle, right, early part of August, sometime. And I know they're preparing the kids get ready to go to school and everything. And uh, it's so much, <clears throat> every day is so many different things going on around here. And uh, some of the children are, I don't know, I hear, you know, kids wasn't making it. Some don't even want to go to school anymore. They are always, I heard a few of the kids, I was in the grocery store the other day and I heard some people discussing as I passed, but when I was in line, I'll say it like that. And the, and the kids were discussing. And they were saying, you know, they were asking that uh, they were going to buy backpacks to go. And some of the kids said, we don't want to go to school anymore because we are scared of shooting going on and all this kind of stuff. And so the parents were telling, well, everything's going to be okay, you know. So we have to assure them that everything's going to be okay. And that's a proper thing to do. You have to keep talking to the kids while school is out and uh, keep praying for them and all these different things. Because there is a lot of things, and I can understand, kids are really getting to the point where they're nervous about everything that's going on right now. And it's hard for, because the parents are nervous about it also. And quite naturally, that's going to make the children uh, kind of understand, not understand it a lot also. But we just have to assure them that things are going to be all right. And we just have to keep praying, ask God to make things all right. So the children won't have the fear, and although although I know Bill does have fear right now with everything going on, but we have to try to figure out some type of way to let the children know that even though things are going on, but you know it's just not coming their way. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but it's have to pray and ask God to show us what to tell our children to do and not to do and when to do and whatever. So that's how, you know, that I can suggest that um, because I do know it's just around the corner before school will be starting. And it's going to be hard for me to say, uh, you know, what to expect or what can you tell your children. I, you just can't hardly reassure them anymore. I don't know. All I can tell everybody, you have to really pray about it. And, and right now, only prayer can change things. Yeah. So that's all I can say. Only prayer can change things. But we do know God is able because he doesn't leave us in the dark about anything. And 
just you know just talk to your children and I don't know everybody know how to uh, contain the fear from your own family situation and what's going on and it's hard for me to tell you to uh, how to what to do or what to say because I really don't know I look at my grandchildren but by my uh, there my daughter is uh, teaching them she has her own little school in her house so they don't these uh the great grand my great grandchildren don't have to go into a school building right now so i'm thankful for that because she's able to have her own school and with it and it's also uh with the state association that she has her teachers think at her house so they are so blessed and they i hope they realize that they are so blessed that they only have to go to her school and no one else so that's the blessing that they have. And I'm hoping that they will consider that they are really, they've really been blessed, you know. So I know somebody's on the line and saying something to my daughter right now, but I don't know what it is because I can't see that far around. So like I said, I just hold on for a little while longer until she gets off this important cow that she's on. And then I'll find out. Uh, who's been on and who's talking and who's saying something but I'm just keeping up with the I'm just trying to keep on talking to everybody that may be on because I appreciate you all there for being on and I know she didn't know an important car would be coming through while we were doing this live because I was trying to do the live session uh tonight and uh, see can we change from Friday to uh Thursday uh go back on maybe a little bit on Friday to see I'm trying to challenge it to two nights to see which ones are going to be better. Would it be Thursday night or would it be for still Friday night? Okay. So I'm doing a, a, a challenge on this. So that's why I'm asking you guys to keep uh, calling, uh, keep viewing, and keep watching what's going on because I really can't tell you right now what day I'm going to stay on. And I, and I don't, you know, right now she'll have to read the messages to me because I'm I don't have it. If I had thought, if I had known the car was coming through, I would have brought my tablet in and I would have been able to know who was on, who was coming on talking and I could have answered your question. But right now, I, it's too far. We don't have anybody to go get my tablet to put it on for me. So yeah. I just have to keep talking and, and thanking everybody, whoever this is coming on. I do appreciate whatever you might be saying. Yeah. And, uh, because I, I, I really can't see and tell you what's being said right now. So I'm just holding my, holding, holding on, trying to, uh, uh, just trying to talk until she gets back off her important call. So I don't know. Uh, like I said, I can't tell what's coming up or who came up or whatever, because I really don't know right now. I'm just talking, and I'm hoping somebody is listening who's ever on here. So I know they come down and it goes off, so I don't know who's been on, so I don't even know. So everybody look like they've gone off now. What was on while ago? So but I'm still on here. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see who was talking anyway, so I couldn't see she's been on there for a while. But I'm hoping if there's anybody that's still on that you're listening, I don't know if you're still listening to me. I'm sorry that I can't give you a uh, talk back to you because I don't know who's on and who's not. Daybreak 76 says, I plan on sleeping as much as I can this weekend. Huh? Daybreak 76 says, I plan on sleeping as much as I can this weekend. 76? Daybreak, okay. Yes, ma'am. Daybreak 76. Okay. Well. Hello, well. Uh, he also says, please teach us how to. It's a lady. Huh? Oh, it's a lady. She? It's a lady. Okay. He says, please teach us how to make real sweet potato pie one day. A sweet potato pie? Yeah, real I... sweet potato pie. Are they, are they making one of this? No, she, she said, teach her how to make one. Oh, teach them how to make one. Well, this, I do have one up. I have one on my videos that I made about. For about three or four months. In fact, I may have two on there. Yeah. So check those out. Because I think I do have uh, three or four sweet potatoes down here right now. 
And I said I'd probably make a potato pie, I don't know, uh, later in, uh, to get rid of, so I wouldn't let the potatoes run. If they haven't already run, I don't know. I'm trying to stay out of the oven as much as possible because it's so hot. And they're asking you to preserve the, uh, the energy right now. So we don't have to have a blackout and around around out in and in. So I'm just holding up to that point right now to not to try not to use as much as possible, use less as possible energy, electric energy. So uh, that's where I'm standing right now. But I do know uh, uh, that we are we are blessed to be able to have any because there's so many people right now that don't have air. So many people, and like in Virginia yesterday, they had the storm, all the homes washed down and they still haven't, they still haven't found some of the people that's missing. All the houses was washed out when the storm came yesterday. And so that's critical cause people were down looking for their families and their whole houses just went down, went down earth and everything. It's just so much disaster is going on. They have to make you look prayerful and thank and for the people that's in those towns in Virginia, uh, it's just a blessing to know that all of them didn't get knocked, you know, didn't get knocked out. But they were looking for their family members, and they couldn't find them, you know. So, and they still haven't found some of them. So I hope and pray that nobody knows anybody. There's nobody that's on the YouTube page and have lost family members in the Virginia disaster yesterday from the storms and the rain that went down. You know, it's just, it's just such a blessing when there's so much going on now, but you don't know how to keep the attitude to what's going down. So, anyway, he's ready. If you ready, just uh... yeah. Anyway, I was just saying that the, this a lady, her name is Maria. I told you her name was Maria. Uh-huh. Yeah. I want to ask you about the sweet potato pie. Okay. Well, I, I just told her. There's two on there already. You can get this. Okay. You can fix your plate. Nietzsche Long says strong prayer life is definitely needed. Yeah, everybody needs to. This is already ready to go. I got to get your plate. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I mean, it's really something because every day there are so many different disasters that's going on all around us, everywhere. Everywhere. So it's just kind of hard to say what we just have to be really prayerful and be and knowing that we're going to be blessed, uh, knowing that God has blessed us to keep us out of all these things that's, that's happening around us, and that's just a blessing and it's on, and it's on. So that's a real, that's a real blessing. Here. I'm trying to get something to go with the salad here, so excuse me for a minute. She was trying to find some profits. She'll be right back. Here. I'm trying to uh, get something to go. I thought we had some uh, a little brand of crackers, but I guess we don't. So. I don't find any, yeah. so I don't see them, so. I guess we don't have any more. Any more what? Great crackers. I doubt it. Okay. The grandkids probably ate it all up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess we don't have any more Ritz crackers, so. I thought we had some more, so. Some little boxes going, so anyway. Are you in the forest now? Some in the Uh-uh. Any more over there? Uh-uh. Okay. Okay. You pass me the complete. Complete. Mm -hmm. Complete seasoning up there. Mm -hmm. 
Maria, you in Texas? I saw you said it was hot in Texas. We in Texas too. Mm -hmm. Here, I need number three. Here. Uh uh, what tall seasoning bottles is? Look down under the cabinet. Yeah. Okay. Lord Shaw said, what's on, what's on the menu today? Lord said, what's on the menu? We have salad on the menu today. This is just a sit on the floor. It's just a meat, just the meat, it's just a vegetable salad with the with uh turkey in it. So it's nothing special, just a something uh just she said something. you uh Marie said you do great keeping the conversation going. I really, I didn't even know, really, I didn't know I was keeping great hours. She was trying. That's all, that's all I could say. I didn't know what to talk about, but I, I tried to keep them interested on there until she could get back together with me. I didn't know. I really didn't know what to say, Maria. Please, please believe me, Darren. I kept trying to think of something that I could say that would keep the people hanging in there until she could get back to the phone. So I think, I thank you for saying so anyway. I appreciate your thought that I was talking that you all was understood could I would have kept you interested in the conversation that was going on. That's the main thing, is keeping keeping the conversation up and keep something going. So I'm I'm so glad that you were able to stay with me. Yeah, she just did a light salad today, Lord. It's so it's been so hot in Dallas. We've been having twenty days of hundred degree weather. Yeah. A lot of days, 100 degree weather. A lot of days. So. He said, Your food speaks for itself. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad. That's, that's, that's what I wanted to do, speak for itself. And I don't, I don't have to have it, I don't have to speak for it myself. That's the main thing right now. I'm glad that it's speaking for itself. Have you cooked anything she made, uh, Lord? I always ask everybody, have they cooked anything she made? So you want to ask anybody else? It's 108 in Bakersfield, California. Yep. It's 108 in, uh, in Texas. Yeah, he says 108 in Bakersfield, California. Yeah, yeah. which y'all follow? 109, which y'all follow today? I know, but he says 108 in, in uh, Bakersfield, California. Yeah, which y'all follow? Today it was 109. They say they got it in the West River. So, I still like mine. I like my French dressing better. <coughs> I like my French dressing better. <laughs> I know y'all did good the olive garden. I, mean, I do it something, but I I still like my French dressing better. <laughs> I don't know what about it. I like it better. I mix it up on my husband's taste now. It's <laughs> good on chicken. Uh, so it's good on chicken. What is? Italian seasoning. Okay. I mean Italian dressing. Oh. Bake it in the oven with the Italian dressing yeah. on it. It's good. Oh, is that right? Time well, I got my party. They tear it up. 
But I like salad better. I like French dressing better. Everything is for cracking. Thank you. I used that to put um, butter on my crackers. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy it. But the butter spread, I put that spread butter on my crackers. Uh, either um, I used like I also like to put in um, cream cheese on with the salad. That sounds good. Uh huh. Salad is good. Grandma Manila must have been busy today. Grandma and D. Kelly and Chocolate Capricorn and Rodney and all of them must have been busy. Lane and. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Squash. Maybe they got some things going on. Tim. Not her usual. Look at all her lives every time. Mm -hmm. Salad is very good. Uh, what, um, Miss Capricorn, she got out late last week. She just buried him, maybe him. People don't hear that quiet, though. Are they just listening to you? Mm -hmm. I said, people don't hear that quiet, they're just listening to you talk. Now. Yeah, but they're quiet. They're just listening to you talk. Okay. It's hard for you to talk while I'm eating. But, just keep listening. I know some people like to watch you eat anyway. They love watching people eat. So now, they have an opportunity to watch me eat. Thank you. <laughs> At some point in time, everybody kind of eat. And it's good to see them enjoy their own food that they're fixing. Anybody have? I even even wanted to go out and buy food. Did anybody have any questions for Miss Lena? Why she's on? Maria, she'll probably do some more sweet potato pie soon because she got some sweet potatoes she got to get rid of. So she'll probably do another sweet potato pie in the next few days, but she really got to use them sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was going to do them last week, and um, we are. Uh, change your mind about it. What was it? Oh, you need those, those fries. No, I say, you know, it'll be a good after, idea after you finish eating a good recipe. For some homemade vanilla ice cream and a homemade peach cobbler recipe wouldn't be nice. She have a couple of peach cobbler recipes already up. And she's going to do some homemade uh, ice cream tomorrow, Lord. Hopefully, back at everything. It'll be either tomorrow or uh, oh, Saturday she's going to do some ice cream. But she got some uh, peach cobbler recipes up. Good peach cobbler recipe. Yeah. 
It's already out there. It may be in her playlist. My my um great nephew might have put me in her playlist with her desserts. I don't, I don't know. know what kind of um ice cream I'm gonna make though. Rock and roll. No. Vanilla. Rock and roll. Uh uh. Peach. I'm gonna make some rock and roll. And me some marshmallows and some almonds. And some almonds. I don't know. What can I make? No, I said I'm gonna make me some rock and roll. <laughs> Lord, I said you have any peaches you're trying to get rid of? Mm -hmm. You say you have any peaches you're trying to get rid of? No. <laughs> peaches? Peaches? No. I sure don't. Peaches so expensive. And then they're not even hardly sweet no more half the time you buy them. No, they're not. Oh, we haven't had enough rain. And that's one of the problems we have here. When we get enough rain. The peaches are sweet and the watermelons are too, but neither one of them is sweet this time around. She might. We're a little bit. We're growing some collard greens in the yard. You still growing? Well, we were going from collard greens. Hopefully, they still out there. It's been so hot. Mm -hmm. I know it's out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all made that out. It was still out there Monday, wasn't it? When you went out there? I haven't looked out there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. The caretaker take care of the kid, take care of the green. Yeah, I played yesterday. Yeah, I played Lord, what have all you have cooked that she have made on her rest, on her line on her channel? Hey, what? I asking him what all he made. Maria, have you made anything she cooked? Okay. Carrot ice cream. <laughs> no. That carrot cake ice cream be good. Cookie dough ice cream. Carrot cake. Um, carrot ice cream. Carrot ice cream. Um, Did you make it? Did you make anything yet? Hmm. I don't know about carrot. I don't know about carrot ice cream. Might be alright. Peanut butter ice cream. Probably good. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter ice cream. Peanut butter. Make a peanut butter cake with some peanut butter ice cream. Mm-hmm. Well. Make yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You ever taste my peanut butter cake? I like lemon, lemon custard, pineapple, and Hawaiian pineapple. Ice cream? Yeah, Hawaiian pineapple ice cream. 
That sound good. Yeah. That sound good. Yeah. And I look, I look, I look different colors in it. But I used to be so miles and miles away. Good pineapple. I walk in pineapple ice cream. That must have been something a long time ago. I've never heard of it now. Huh? I'm not going to make it no more. So you don't. Maybe. I guess they don't make it anymore. Oh, they used to, it used to be like, um, what, red, green, and red, green, and yellow? Hawaiian color. Mm -hmm. I ain't wearing it in a long time. Yeah, she made a good salad. Sure is good. Shot the chair. Huh? I'll get ready to go off in a minute. You hear me? You know what I said? What? Pops and get ready to go off in a little bit. Huh? Pops and get ready to go off in a little bit. Okay. Slow tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, y'all, we're not gonna stay on the lounge. Just came on to make a quick little salad. I'm a real say yummy. <laughs> wow. A real say yummy. It's yummy. It's good. Okay, family, we're going to get ready to sign off. We shall have it out evening. She'll be back on top for regular Friday night live tomorrow night. We're just trying to figure out the days, which is just the best day. We thought Thursday, the last Thursday was a lot of people home. A lot of people. So, I don't know. We'll figure this out with her best days. We got over 4,000 subscribers now. Wow. I thought her lives would pick up. But she loves talking to her father, to her family, YouTube family. She really do. Huh. I was just telling you, you love to talk to your YouTube family. That's why she do the lives. She loves talking and interacting with them, with y'all. And one day, hopefully we'll get a live where she have about 50 people on. It'd be nice. Yeah, I would love to get a thousand people at one time. No, I don't think you want no thousand because then you can't you can't keep up with the conversation. If we get our first hundred, that'll be that'll be awesome. <laughs> thousand hard to keep up with. We talk to everybody. But anyway, y'all, we finna go ready to go. They can say hello and bye bye anyway. Okay, Granny. Alright, turn it on. Um. Carrot? Huh? Mm. You know, eating these carrots, you're not
getting ready to say good night or good evening to whoever said on. I appreciate you guys for coming in for this hour that I've been on. And I had to, it's kind of a hard hour because my daughter would leave the phone for a little while. They leave the camera for a little while. And I appreciate you all just listening to me just do a little bit of talking. And I thank you. And it's just to say that I love you guys so much. But I will be back tomorrow night. And hopefully that I'll, I don't know if I'll be having the ice cream I already made. I'll be trying to make it or whatever. I'm not for sure. I'm not going to even give a promise because I don't have everything that I need to do it with. So I'm hoping that I can get out tomorrow and do it. And I'm not for sure. Oh, this is a, a new ice cream maker. I've never used it. And I make, have to make sure that I can get it going the way that I should. So I appreciate you guys tonight. And this is from Miss Lena, from Miss Lena's Kitchen. With all of my love, that goes to you guys. And don't forget, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. With all the love from Miss Lena's Kitchen. Bye-bye.